Alex Milan Tracy, SIPA USA, Newscom Seattle officials have stumbled on a winning formula for tanking their city's economy and their constituents' prosperity, writes J.D. DeChiel. All it takes is a deep antipathy for the laws of economics and a series of policies based on the same, culminating in a proposed tax on hours worked by the employees of large companies to fund social programs that are making little if any headway in their supposed missions. Employee hours tax is hereby levied upon and shall be collected from every person for the act or privilege of engaging in business activities within the city, reads the tax bill, which appears to have four of the necessary five city council votes locked up. The tax shall be measured by the number of employee hours of work conducted within the city during each quarter of the calendar year. In response, Amazon paused construction on a downtown office tower and may sublease space in another building rather than use the space itself. And in its search for a second headquarters location, Amazon wants a more business-friendly environment. Tachil argues that locales that want healthy economies would be well advised to avoid emulating Seattle's mistake of abusing the businesses that help to create prosperity. View this article.